Hi guys, this is KFC and I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about what I call gut rolling. Um, you've been watching the 747 build. This is how I do it. This is the process I go through for the parts that are uh, circular in cross section. I have my part here. This is a uh, quarter inch fan fold, nothing fancy. Uh, this is actually the aft portion of a nacelle. You can see what it's going to look like when we're done. It's just this last segment there. I've marked the top of the part with a black line. Uh, the top of the part is always opposite where the glue joint is and that's the bottom. And The reason for that is because on the ground no one looks at the bottom of the airplane and so if there are any imperfections in this glue joint it won't get noticed and in the air it's too far away to see. Notice also that the skin, the film, has been removed from the outside of the part and that the outside of the part is the skinned side. Uh, the reason for that is because that this is the flattest side. This, the inside, is the one with all the wavy kind of distortions on it and we want to keep that away from, you know, people seeing it. I also have a piece of aluminum tube. I think this is 7 8 uh, something like that. It's nothing special. You can use PVC, whatever you want. The reason I like to use the aluminum is because I don't risk getting a concave part as I'm doing the rolling because the aluminum doesn't bend the same way PVC does. I take the part with the printed side facing outward. I place the aluminum tube like so and I roll. And depending on how tight you need the roll, you can use different diameters of tubing. You can roll harder, softer. Once you do a couple of these, you'll get a feel for it. It's pretty intuitive. So now what I have is I have a rolled part. Okay, and it's not a complete roll, but that's okay because what we need to do is we need to make sure the part is as circular as possible. What we're going to end up with here, if we just glue it like this, is that there's going to be a flat spot at the bottom and we don't want that. What we want is a nice circular cross section. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some tape and what you want is something with high adhesion. Uh, if you go to the local hardware store and you get some painters tape that's uh, medium or high adhesion, that's the best stuff to use for this. Don't use packing tape because it won't grip well enough and don't use like cheap uh, uh, masking tape because it Again, it won't grip well enough and part will kind of bow out on you and it won't work. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece of tape. We're going to lay it over the end on one side. And you can see how that's done there. Then we are going to bend these out. And what we're doing is we're looking to get this edge right here, this outside edge, flush with this outside edge just as perfect as we can get it. So what we're going to do is we're going to overbend. We're going to line those two up just right. And then we're going to run the tape over. So now what we have is we have a nice... The tape actually holds the outside edges just perfectly together. Okay, but now we have kind of an odd shaped part because we've got this flat spot here. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your aluminum, your piece of aluminum there again, and you're going to roll. And you're going to concentrate on that joint there. And it's going to take a couple times before you can actually get it to, but you can already see how that a lot of that's come out. Let's see, roll it. And again, the amount of pressure you apply here is going to determine how nice and circular you can get that part and that right there is pretty darn close. Now that we've got it rolled the question is how to join it. For this foam I like to use the uh, white polyurethane Gorilla Glue. The reason for this is that it has a similar density to the foam itself so when you sand 
that joint afterward, it's not uh, in a lot harder or softer than the surrounding foam and you won't get a whole lot of chunks that break off and, and start tearing up your surface. When I do the joint, I press inward to expose those two and I just lay a real tiny bead right in there. Take a little stick here, smear it along the inside. And then close it up. Now we got a little bit that's sort of smooshed out. And so I'll take a little paper towel and I'll wipe that down. All right. So in about an hour, this is going to be essentially a perfect part. I mean, I'll have to do a little bit of trimming where the glue is dried and, and squeezed out at the ends, but that's about it. And that's essentially how I do all the circular parts for foam. Uh, again, you just adjust the pressure on that aluminum tube against your gut here. And it you can get any curve you want. Now, the question becomes, what do you do if you don't have a gut? Uh, couch cushions work fine. Anything that's soft and that will allow the foam to bend against a harder against the hard tube. 